Hello everybody, this is the Election Predictor back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing an election prediction between Ron DeSantis and Kamala Harris. I'm going to try and make it relatively short so that you guys can, you know, watch the whole video um, and I guess see what I have to say about some stuff. But, um, you know, let's just go over the people first off. Ron DeSantis, current incumbent governor of Florida, uh, and Kamala Harris, incumbent vice president of the United States, and former senator from California. Anyway, let's just jump right into the safe states. I'll actually start on the East Coast this time, which is a bit strange because I don't usually do that. Um, I'm not going to characterize Maine's first as safe. Uh, I don't particularly think Kamala Harris would make it a safe race. Maybe Biden would, but not Harris. Um, I still think, I don't think she has much of an East Coast appeal. She has some West Coast, I guess a little bit in New York and you know, the state's New Jersey, but not particularly well. Anyway, let's get to our safe Republican states. DeSantis does have that Trump base. If Trump doesn't run, um, and DeSantis does, I think he would probably be the nominee unless, you know, somebody big came out of the woodworks. It could be somebody, you know, Republican party is in such a sway at the moment, but, uh, if he does, I do think he'll gain a lot of the Trump support, um, and really, you know, accumulate that Trump base, um, simply because of, you know, what he has stood for over the last, frankly, year and a half. Um, anyway, let's get to our likely Democrat states. Likely Democrat will be, what the heck, will be Colorado. I'm not going to include Virginia, simply also because it has narrowed up in this Virginia governor race. It does show that Virginia is is narrow upper, but it's not as deep blue as we may have thought it was. Um, it is still a pretty likely to even solid Democrat state, but I don't think DeSantis, not DeSantis, I don't think Harris is particularly popular there with suburban women. Uh, at the moment, the Biden administration is not popular at all. And, you know, the predictions are based off of how everything is in the moment. Um, so I do think DeSantis could narrow that state up, but I'm, you know, I don't, I'm not sure if I'll win or not. Um, I'll also characterize New Mexico as a likely, and I'll characterize Maine's first. <clears throat> a likely, for likely Republican states, we'll have Ohio and Iowa. And I'm going to keep Texas likely. He'll probably win by about six points. Um, and my likely margins is anywhere from 5 to 15 uh, percent wins. So Texas falls from the lower end of the likely margin, but it does squeeze in there. And I'll also include Maine second. Iowa, Ohio, Maine second. I think that DeSantis will accumulate that Trump support, the rural support, the, the Rust Belt support, especially as the Rust Belt continues to swing to the right. Um, I do think it, he has a very, very good shot at picking up those states. Um, anyway, for lean Democrat states, Maine at large will be a lean Democrat state. Uh, Minnesota will be a lean Democrat state. Harris will be winning by about three to four points. Um, Virginia will be a lean Democrat state. Harris will probably win that by about four, maybe five points. Nah, not five because I can't make it five. It'd be four and a half points, put it like that. Um, <clears throat> and that'll be all for the lean Harris states. Lean DeSantis will be Florida. Florida will lean to Ron DeSantis. Um, as well as Wisconsin. I think that Wisconsin actually would also lean to Ron DeSantis. For tilt states, I think Harris will still tilt New Hampshire in her column. Uh, although DeSantis does have a shot at it, I think it would be more of a Hillary versus Trump appeal. I don't think that Hillary was particularly liked in New Hampshire. I don't think Harris is particularly liked. Uh, but Hillary did end up holding on to it. Harris could hold on to it as well by a small margin. Um, let's continue. Let's go to. Let's see. So. Um, okay. For tilt, I'm going to switch off. So let's do some tilt Republican states now. A tilt Republican state, I believe, will be Pennsylvania. I think DeSantis will win Pennsylvania. Um, by a tilt margin, you know, the Rust Belt has continued to swing to the right over the last th two, two maybe you could cons possibly say three elections, but that's simply because Obama's win in 2008 was so big. Uh, you know, Obama won Pennsylvania by, I think, like, seven, eight points against Mitt Romney. Then Trump won it by 0.7. And then Biden only won it by 1.2. The swing back to Biden was not even that big. So I think that shows that Pennsylvania has shifted. The whole Rust Belt shifted, you know, with African-American communities, all sorts of communities moving from these states down to Texas, as you can see, it gained votes, and even Florida. Um, and they, they do seem to, you know, not be voting for Democrats as much, but uh, with that loss of the electoral vote from 20 to 19 and Michigan in 16 to 15, it is a bit evident that the demographics are shifting. Um, let's go to some tilt Democrat. I think, uh, Harris will win Nevada by a tilt Democrat margin. Um, 
it's is Democrat state as a high proportion of Democrats to Republicans. Democrat, it's always usually a toss up state in the elections, and the Democrats end up usually winning it by a by you know one to two points. Harris probably won it by a little less than one, maybe point eight. Uh, I also see Harris winning Georgia. Uh, a lot of people think DeSantis is going to be competitive in Georgia. You know, Florida is really close to Georgia. Those states have similar cultures and, um, you know, beliefs, you know, different from what you would think in Buffalo, New York. Um, but I, I still think with that shift in Georgia, the shift in, in demographics and the shift in popularity, as we saw in Georgia and Arizona, uh, compared to the Rust Belt, Harris will pick up that state. But I do see DeSantis tilting North Carolina to him. Uh, it actually will be a closer state. I think that North Carolina is actually narrowing up a little bit, becoming a slightly more Democrat, but I still think Republicans will hold on to it for future elections, but it will still be a tilt margin, uh, less than a percent, maybe 0.7, 0.8%. Also, I see the chance of taking back Nebraska's second congressional district from Joe Biden, where Joe Biden won it by about, I think, eight points, eight, nine points, you know, similar to the Trump margins in Maine second. Uh, he won that district very, very largely. It wasn't really expected. Um, and it shows that the suburban women did come out for Joe um, and did like him, but I don't think that they will come out for Harris. I think that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are completely different candidates, and it's going to be a completely different map, especially kind of like a repeat of 2016 with Harris and DeSantis. They're just different people aside from Trump and Clinton, but um, the similar types of personalities, I would say, per person. I'm not sure what you would say. Um, but anyway... I think that uh, DeSantis will also win Michigan, which would give him the presidency. And I think that DeSantis would win Arizona as well. Um, I think that he would gain a lot of Hispanic votes in Arizona. um, And Harris just doesn't have that support nationwide. I don't think she would win in Arizona, even though it has shifted towards the Democrats. Remember, Trump only lost Arizona by 0.3%. So uh, that state is that state is winnable for Republicans, still is winnable. Um, and I don't know how much farther it's going to shift. We'll have to wait and see in 2022 uh, in that red wave year. But I'm going to give that to DeSantis at the moment. I still think DeSantis has a pretty good shot at it. Um, but I'm going to make, let's go and make whatever, change the colors on the whole map and see what it looks like. It's pretty much the 2016 map, except Georgia is blue. Um, but with the 2024 electoral margins, uh, the count is a bit different. Um, and as you can see, much redder than 2020 as DeSantis takes back the Rust Belt in Arizona and Nebraska's second congressional district. He wins by a margin of 291 votes, electoral votes to 241, and goes on to become the 47th president of the United States. Congratulations to Ron DeSantis. So anyway, um, tell me what you guys think of the prediction. If you disagree with any of the state calls, let me know in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, Like the video for more great content, and make sure to subscribe. We are getting so close to 200 subscribers. So keep on subscribing, uh, less than 30 to go. So keep up the subscriptions. Anyway, thank you guys so much and have a great day.